have done this now let's do one thing let's create a text and add this the title of overview and let's give it a style of we have added the styles dot heading okay so this will be the overview heading now here we need to add the overview so what will be the overview so we have a property of here we get uh, overview this overview so we can add this as details dot overview this let's save it and let's give it some styling so styling will be styles dot overview okay so let's just copy it and paste it here okay so what will be the styles firstly let's do the color as constants dot text color secondly let's uh, give a horizontal margin as 10 and text align as justify okay and we can increase the font size as well to 16 no not 16 yeah. to 16 let's say okay yeah so this is the overview of the movie okay the description the sort summary that we get this is that part now after that this is done we need to add some other details so these will be let's create an empty view first so inside this let's create another view okay so let's add the text of we need to display the movie's budget so the budget and let's add the same style so styles dot heading okay so for the budgets we have a property called budgets okay so how we are going to get that that will be details dot budget okay so we got the budget here but it's not visible why let's style that as well so style will be styles dot uh, details let's keep it as details okay so let's just copy it and paste it here okay so let's give it the color of constants dot secondary color this time it will be secondary color now let's increase the font size to 15 and also give a what we can give we can give a margin from left as 10 and font weight will be bold font weight will be bold okay so yeah seems good okay now just one thing before this budget uh, we need to add dollar sign okay now it's good similar to this we are going to add some other details as well so so here instead of budget we have the total time so it will be duration and here we have the release date it will be release date okay so these are aligned as here so firstly let's add the details this release date don't need dollar so instead of dot budget we have dot release underscore date okay and here also we don't need okay so we got the date now here instead of dollar with the duration we need the minutes and for this we have the property called uh, where is the property it's released date it's uh, it's runtime so we have the property of runtime here it is so this is the time 175 minutes okay now we need to align them in a single row so for that here we are going to add some styles styles dot details container it will be details container so let's copy it from here and uh, let's paste it here okay so the details container we need to display them as flex and uh, flex direction will be row flex direction will be row and justify content space between okay so let's see okay so here we get these things displayed correctly and we can give some margin from vertical direction as 20 just to display things properly and more efficiently okay so now this is we are good with this okay let's move forward with this so this was the view for that now here we need to display the genre genres we need to display okay so for that let's give the text and let's keep genre and let's give the style of styles dot heading again okay heading so this will okay these are the genre now here let's create a function for get genre get genre okay so where is this function where is this function let's create it here get genre. okay 
so this will return me okay now where are the genre let's see it here so where are the genre uh, okay so these are the genres so genre is an array array in itself and inside array we have objects each object has id and the name okay so the name is drama like it's a drama genre and its id is 80 so from here we need to map on genres so we are going to map on details dot genres dot map okay so it's genres just keep the names properly otherwise you will get some errors and you won't be able to figure them out as well so we'll get a genre here and what we need to return we need to create a view for that uh, that view okay and inside this view we need to add the text okay so the text will be the genre okay done now let's style this view a bit so it will be styles dot genre container so here are we we are getting error ah so it's saying that objects are not valid child why because we are displaying the entire genre but we don't need genre we need genre dot name so keep this thing in mind these are some small small mistakes that we make sometimes so we copied the genre container from there and let's just navigate to any movie so let's go to godfather only okay so here it is genre and we are getting two genres written here so let's do one thing let's give a border width of one pixel border color border radius of five and border color as constants dot text color okay so we'll get to see the borders at least okay so these are the borders now we can give horizontal padding as 10 and vertical padding as 5 as well okay <clears throat> so now the genre seem good okay let's do one thing so here let's add the style of styles dot genre okay and we are going to make this style here so it will be genre and let's make the color as constants dot text color and font size as 16 let's see so we can see all the genre here okay now let's just give some margin as well so we are going to give margin horizontal to this then our margin okay yeah okay now what we need to do so here these are all the genres that i'm getting now i need to display them horizontally okay so what i will do uh, where is this genre container ah this part okay so i am going to wrap this inside a div sorry not div inside a view okay and i am going to add some styles to this particular view so what will be those firstly it will be display as flex then the flex direction will be row the direction will be row okay so now we are going to go with the genre so these are the genres as well okay so we displayed the genres of the movies here so let's go for any other movie uh let's this one only gabriel's inferno i don't know what's this so it's a romantic and comedy movie we are seeing the overview budget is zero duration and release date we are getting to see here okay so now one thing that we also need to do is uh, while we are clicking on any of the movie we are getting the details of that particular movie but similar to that when we click on any of the carousel image we should get the details of that particular movie as well so for that we will go to this trending movies part so here uh, it's trending movies ah no not trending movies we will go to discover movies so here we will receive the props and now so on this slider image box we have a property called on image cut so the on current image pressed on current image pressed and here so we get the index now for just for now let's just alert the index once we get this okay so i am alerting it so as soon as i click on any of this i get the index the index is zero here okay so this is working fine so now what we'll do we'll go to home.js file and we'll pass this navigation props to the trending to the dis sorry not trending to the discover movies as well so to these discover movies i am going to pass this navigation props now so here we'll get their navigation props so we can access the props so what i'll use i'll use props.navigation.navigate 
navigate to where so i have to navigate to movie details okay and again we have to pass the movie id because the details of the particular movie will be fetched only using the movie id so we need to pass the movie id as well now how are we going to get the movie id so for that if you see correctly here inside the use effect what we were doing once we were getting the data we were setting that data to the movies array as well so now we are going to access that particular variable so we are going to use the movies array and go to navigate to this particular index so inside the movies array we'll go to this index and return the id from there okay so let's try clicking on this so i clicked on this i navigated to this and I see the details here as well. So the movie name, overview, budget, duration and genre as well. Okay. So we created the entire detail screen. Now all the images inside a carousal are clickable. And once we click on any of the image, we get their detail. And all the images of all the movies of trending movies. These are also clickable. We have added the routes for them as well. Okay. So this is it for this video. Now in the next part, we are going to add the movie cast here and all the similar movies as well okay so this is it for this video if you have any doubts you can contact me on instagram or telegram and if you need the source code you can check out the link in the description the github link i have added okay so this is it thank you tata bye bye